Hey, hey again, in the previous video, we did design for our layout and we added list view and we designed also the ticket we designed in this way, which have title and description. Now what I want to do in this video, I want just follow it with dumb data, with dummy data, it doesn't make any sense. So to get started, let me just go to the here and create a new class. This class, I will suppose will hold the information about notes. So I say notes, okay? I give it name a note. So here, what do you think as a note as object? So if I say note, single note, what do you think this one will have? It should have three properties if, if I work with a database. First, it should have variable for uh, uh, note, note, note ID. So you say note ID. Okay, Just let me follow the naming convention. Note ID, I suppose this one should be should be integer and uh, initial value doesn't have anything and also have the three of these I have also a variable for the notes name okay notes name I suppose a string again doesn't have anything initial value and all I also have variable notes description should have Suturing and doesn't have anything and initial value is null uh, Yeah, this is that three properties that I needed to show up So first thing you have to think about it first you design your list view Then you design your ticket then what the ticket need ticket need title and need description I define title and description I added ID because the ID is the way for me later on to update the ticket So I define here my constructor the constructor take three parameters take the ID the constructor also take the notes name and constructor also take notes description this is three properties and for sure i just need to set them so so this should be this dot notes id or call the coming note id for the class see how much the object identity is important now so if someone told you object are entered is not good so don't follow them wait sorry I have to use all this is small so I just avoid any calling error I just don't know why I did it so notes name note note name I think call the the note name and I for sure I have the third properties which is this dot note uh, description should contain to the note should contain note description so this is my notes what I will go, I go to the main activity and here I would add list of notes. So let me just as a dummy data, I define here my list view. So I say variable should be list for, for list of notes, list for notes. Okay. And this lot of list of notes should be array list of citring, array list of the notes because i have a class of notes so array array list of notes should be doing in this way and as initial value you could give it like a call call null initial value so this is just you define your array list i define hey i have array list and this array list so maybe this way of define is not correct you could use this way just just direct i think just because you create a new instance from that one yes here we go you just define an instance of array list so array list you just add three elements inside it let me suppose add dummy data and i suppose hey array list dot add i'm adding inside it so i'm adding wow adding notes inside it and this note should take three parameters you know first the id second one uh, the me the title so me to professor and the third one is the description let me suppose any description you have it i would use this description that i already have it's too much text and also it's good for me to reuse it because make it like easier for easier for me to why just take I just install the sticks why take it from her? why don't take it from her? sometimes we do things like yeah let me take the sticks here so this is for the first one and going back to my main activity I just add this notes whatever 
sem not semicolon just add three of these just three element you maybe want to add more please go ahead just add the three elements so the id number two id number three id number two meet doctor this one meet friend whatever just three notes friend okay for now just three elements so now i have the data so see how do you how we work with list view first define list view define the ticket then define the data now the important part i want to take this data and add it inside this list view how i do that first of all i have to full i i have to define a new class so i'll just name it adapter so you say hey in our class this should be in our class and this class should be like my notes adapter this one should be responsible for adapting your work so as initial thing i don't have anything as input but i'm just inheriting something named it base this one name it base uh, adapter why base adapter this class already been implemented and it's responsible for working with adapt data from this format to the list view so for sure for sure you have to have a constructor and this constructor also you need base adapter and constructor so you need to call the super constructor this is what we what we know all, all the time but wait a second i have a constructor what this constructor may take this may constructor i would suppose this constructor will take array list of notes okay to make my work like more professional i say hey yes i am here getting input list so i say list notes and this one i just get it as input make sure you already define list here something about this list so this list notes and you just say hey this dot list notes or call this list you just you just like passing the data to this adapter why because when later on you want to pass data it's really easy to pass it you could list note adapter to make it like easy to read for you so you just you don't confuse with that name and this name so now if you see hey he give you error he say hey you need to implement specific methods if you see all these methods you need to implement them if i select first one shift select all of this method he will ask me to implement all these methods. I thought I will take this code and move it up and try to understand the method one by one. Okay, let me start from this one. Get item, you return a specific item. He say any item may be returned. So it's basically, he, he will get the position and he will return the item. So basically say, hey, return the item according the position, which is B0. This one should be defined as a position. This one get item by ID. I'm not using this item anymore and I don't know why to use it, but basically return for it whatever it get here. If you get here P0, name it P0.2.2 dot two, dot two long. Why too long? Because he need return value as a long. It depends on what too long. Okay, make sure in this way. It depends on the name you have it here. If you have it, something named possession, make sure you use the word position here now this is important part you have to think about it get account the adapter have to know to how many item you want to load so if i receive five element here i have to tell him hey i want to load five elements so i have to return the size of whatever i get so i say the size so what will happen if i get a three element here i send it uh, the the adapter base adapter will directly call this method say hey this one have three items so let me call this method three times again he will first thing he will read read this method get account he will understand you have three element he say okay i will call this method three times what this method do will do get view will show view what he will do this method will get the item and and get the xml file take your items whatever text you have it followed with this one and injected inside the list view and he will continue this is good start so to connect between the code and the view i have to define something name it my view so i say it my view and i name it i say layout inflator or i think this one something in you dot inflate okay what this thing mean we that's mean hey i want to full this tick XML ticket with this code. So first of all, I need to connect with this ticket. How to connect this ticket? I have to say layout inflator dot inflate. This XML ticket where is live? Resource layout ticket. So I say R 
dot layout dot ticket this is my ticket okay then the second parameter null i send it or you send this you could send them the group one p2 he named it you could name it the group so you get it now so now i need my the element that i want to add it here now I, this my view will represent this ticket in the code so now i want to get the elements so that's good i could get the element i have it here i say hey where's my element i say variable like the note one or i could say name it my note or call whatever element he selected this one will be possession if they name it possession get it as a possession if they name it p0 get it as a p0 whatever they name it for you so just take the name okay now i have the view i have the item that i want to display so if, when this one have three if he call first like zero he will this one will be index zero i will get item that i have it in the zero which is this one i will i need to get the zero here fill this ticket with the information of the zero pass it or inject it inside the list view so how i do that really really easy process first of all if i go to the ticket i see what i have i have this one this takes a view which is this one it name it takes a view let me name it takes tv title okay title and this one i will name it tv description tv description okay and okay i want to access to this elements really easy process just go here and say wait you have my view which is my view this one will represent my view in the code let me access to it okay i say hey my view which is this one there is many way let me start the basic one my view dots the name of the text view which is text view title dot text or oh, cool whatever you want to add in it i have this one information inside it so i say dot if i just select dot i have information about name hey add the name here same thing my view dot tv description uh, dot text add the my note dot the note I, I name it note description should be no note ah, so now yes i have the ticket i have item getting the item add inside the ticket very basically he need to return the view so he, he need me to return this one for him i say hey return that view and that is we will talk later on about the button for add and update so this is very very easy process to now how to fall out or how inject element in the adapter so now you have everything ready just hey let we set up my adapter so how to set an adapter first of all just go here i have the element define instance from adapter you say variable my uh, notes adapter will be in a new instance from adapter this adapter will take in information about the note as a constructor so send the note for him so you just get a new instance this instance will be here he get whatever you send he initialize it and that is so your adapter now they have information about your, your data now you want to set this adapter to what to this list view so what the name of this list view doesn't have any name any id so let me name it list view uh notes okay so should should this list of you have a list of you notes okay so that means this list of you will hold all the information about all the notes we will have it in the code so really really easy and basic process to set up this thing so you just go back here and your main activity so you have this one list view dot you set adapter you say set adapter hopefully set oh it's just i think they just updated to adapter only so adapter and yeah you done very very basic process let me just run it and make sure Here we go. Yes, that's great. See, he just loot the, all the tickets now. So now, yes, we are good and everything sound great. Maybe the ticket here, I didn't like this way how he appear, how he appear this elements like 20 by 20, but he, he tried to fold them here. You just, you just, you could add some, some space here, like spacing here before them. 
you don't like them so I'll say hey this is space I want it always to to take like a match the, the width for it will take match parent but also see how it's good how it's do it you just do it match parent and this one if you see it just increase there maybe 20 I didn't like it 20 it's too small 20 what about 40 and 40 yeah it sounds good to me 20 40 and 40 and this one make it 40 and 40 but yeah I think now is they, they should sound good to me but if you see this line like he take all the screens it's better to say hey this line weight will be specific time but now yes I think I think they are good I think they are good if I want to change them and the design I would change the the height of them maybe change them to 30 if maybe or 20 just make it nicer yeah yes I think this is 20 not always our design will be good sometimes you need to change it and always you add little bit of spacing between them so I just select this with this one and say hey this one I want you to add Android padding or margin margin to the right like specific amount to make it nicer yeah this is like very very basic process how to fill out the uh, the element like with the data and we will use same pattern a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot so yes here is it did you see why I added the space the space will help me to add space before them and make this space taking match parent so all the remain space will be followed with the empty while these still using I will run it here I will not run the rerun that because I just changed XML only so if you change only XML you don't need to rerun complete the app you just need to run the XML and you're done hey what he what is what he complain about he complain about this one should be PT I think yes I think yeah PT because I just didn't mention PT so he was hey why you define it without give me PT I will I am not taking this one so yes always adding always there is bags but making our code nicer and clean will be very very amazing for us so yes here we done and thank you for watching and see you next